Sarah Palin was greeted by reporters when she entered her governor's office and then her staff as she came back for the first time since the end of the presidential campaign. She is now back to the routine that was totally disrupted when John McCain picked her as his vice presidential nominee. I tell you, this is the this is the best job in the world is being the governor. When she arrived back in Alaska Wednesday night, Sarah Palin had started hearing about charges from unnamed McCain staffers that she didn't know what countries were part of NAFTA, that she didn't know Africa was a continent. Governor, there's no question that people did not put their names forward. And uh, most, I think a lot of Americans consider that cowardly. There's no question yeah, about it. Yeah, I do. I consider it cowardly. So but regarding these allegations, which I, I don't think, my colleagues didn't make it up. They heard it from people who said, you can't use our name, regarding these geography things about Africa, about NAFTA. Are they yeah, not true or are they misinterpreted? Not, no, it's not true. And I do remember having a discussion about NAFTA as we talked about Alaska's relationship with Canada and how we, heaven forbid, we go in and just unilaterally think that we're going to renegotiate NAFTA as it had appeared that Barack Obama, his position was, yeah, he wanted to go renegotiate. I remember having a discussion with a couple of debate preppers. So if it came from one of those debate preppers, you know, that's curious. But having a discussion about NAFTA, not, oh my goodness, I don't know who's a part of NAFTA. Um, so no, I think that if there are allegations based on questions or comments that I made in debate prep about NAFTA and about uh, the, co the continent versus the country um, when we talk about Africa there, then those were taken out of context. And that is, that's cruel, it's mean-spirited, it's immature, it's unprofessional, and those guys are jerks if they came away with it, taking things out of context and then tried to spread something on national news that's not fair and not right. The governor also addressed the controversy over the purchase of $150,000 worth of clothes. The RNC purchased clothes, those are the RNC's clothes, they're not my clothes. I never forced anybody to buy anything. I never asked for anything more than maybe a Diet Dr. Pepper once in a while. Palin says she experienced a type of sexism on the campaign trail she hadn't felt before. You see equality in Alaska, and so uh, that's a good question because I think that was a bit of a surprise on a national level is, wait, you mean the other 49 states aren't quite there like Alaskans are? Well, come on, follow Alaska's lead and start allowing the equal opportunities and the equal treatment. Sarah Palin was also critical of the news media during our conversation, but I said to her, sure, some mistakes are made, but overall, don't you think that most of the coverage was fair? And she acknowledged it was, but did say, quote, one bad apple spoils the whole bunch. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Anchorage, Alaska.